On this episode of AV868, we're flying from Boonville to Red Bluff in the Cessna 182 with some beautiful scenery in between. for what was actually predicted so we might be here for like a maybe another hour which i did plan for you know i plan to be up by eight so you know we'll just play it by ear we'll see how it goes Short field departure, flaps 20. Flaps 20 set and indicated. turn coming a little bit more and I noticed on uh, on the other ones you kind of cut it in yeah yeah that looks better and then straighten out the nose wheel a little bit more you want to yeah you want to not feel any resistance on the pedals there you go okay whenever you're ready elevator trim is set everything is good okay Gauges in the green. Go ahead. There's the right rudder. Great. That was perfect compensation. Look at the airspeed. Airspeed alive. All right. Relax. Relax. Push it down a little bit. There you go. You're looking for 80 on the climb out. A little bit further down. Watch your airspeed. There you go. And trip down if you need to. Alright, now relax. 
Get the nose down a little bit, start gaining some more airspeed and think about retracting the flaps. You could start that right turn, or you could wait some more, up to you. Yeah, so for now, you know, because we don't have altitude to clear the hills, uh, we'll, we'll just head this way for now. The airplane itself probably has the performance to outclimb these hills, but I mean, just in general, if you're flying in the mountains, I wouldn't attempt to cross a hill that you don't know you can pass until you have that altitude. Yeah. And since you got a little break here in the workload, you can run the after takeoff checklist. Or, yeah, climb. And watch where you're going. There you go, keep it straight. So yeah, 23 manifold, right? Manifold pressure. So that's the throttle. Throttle is con are controlling your manifold pressure. So we're looking at 23 here. There you go. Yes, and this is controlling your RPM. So you could go ahead and set it, to unscrew it to 2450.
Get it, good airspeed, control. Get on the altitude. Oh, well, they have one of those, uh, the windsock and one of those little airplane pivots. Yeah, the tetrahedron or whatever. Downwind turn, yeah, or yeah, uh, crosswind, right? Whatever you're ready, yeah, crosswind. Crosswind turn. You can add traffic one note to zero left crosswind, full stop one four, or one five behind. You got traffic, uh, yellow RV, uh, ready to depart one five. I've got the cessna turning crosswind inside, no. Depart after you. Yeah. Clear that turn. He's gonna take off. Yep, you can just continue with the downwind so you can get out of his way. Got traffic one double two, turning left now, one full stop one five, should be out of your way now. Inside, got a traffic RV departing one five, but now let's turn to the northwest, you okay. guys. Alright, now we gotta start thinking about start, you know, slowing down, get the flops down, got gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop. Carb's already on. Yeah, Carb's already on. And uh, we can probably put in some flaps. We can put in flaps right now, right? Yeah. We do flaps 10 now. Yeah, it's all about being, you know, stable throughout the approach. And you're doing great right now. Here's the numbers, cut the power slowly, bring it back. Try to bring it back all the way to idle and get the trim up. There you go. Trim up for 80 ish. You do 90 to start with. Now start that turn and get the nose down a little bit in the turn. You don't have to add power if you bring the nose down. There you go. And think about your flaps. Uh, traffic on the Sierra, left base, turning left final, one five, full stop. Go ahead and start that turn. There you go. Watch your speed. There. Flaps 30, perfect. Coming down, glance at the speed, right on target. There you go, roll it out, aim for that center line. And don't forget a little touch of power at the end. You got traffic on that. Zero short panel one time. Yep, use the rudders to keep it on and start bringing the power back. Hold it off, hold it off. Pull it off. There you go. So you're a little bit late on the third. That's alright. You'll get the hang. And let's keep the power up and keep rolling. You know, not too fast, but I saw that there's a guy there. Okay, take off. Hey, you got traffic one though this year is rolling out on one five with the exit to the right. Alright, now we can get on the brakes. Go, you know, full right rudder first, and then if you need to, you can use right brake. All right, and we'll 
we'll go up, we'll pass the uh, old short lines, and then we'll run the uh, after landing trip. Wow, is that a Belanca? That was traffic like. Like four four Delta Cell departing at one five straight out to cut. Sky traffic one Delta Cirrus clear of one five taxi back to the south hangar as you can. All right, after landing, laps up. Okay, flap zero, indicating zero. Repeat all. Now flaps open. I got it. All right, ADIS, AWAS, go over here. Oh, yeah. All right, um, robes off, landing light off, taxi light is required. Pedo heat off, mixture is required. Trim for takeoff. That time I, that's the first time I actually used all my trim. You did? Nice. Well, it was definitely a more stable approach. Yeah, that was really props to you. Just at the landing, you know, at a little early on the flare. Yeah. But that's all about, you know, doing it over and over and anticipating it. So overall, I'd say it was a really good improvement. Thank you. And transponder. Yep, good to go. All right. Ready? Yeah, back to the hangar. <laughs> 